All right, guys, they're playing a Yone top lane in today's video. We're playing Yone versus set right now. And for the runes, we have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Hand, Bone Plating, and then specifically Overgrowth. Now we're back with the Yone again, man. I don't know. It's always fun to play Yone top because if you are a really good Yone player, this champion is super rewarding in top lane. Let me show you what I mean. So we're currently running into a pretty hard matchup because set pretty much walks up at you, pops the combo down. And if you damage him, he's going to be hitting tons of damage through W. Um, it's very much outplayable, and we also outscale him at the same time. Like, Yone's scaling is similar to Kale and a few others. Just one of the best scaling you can have. You pretty much get to outscale all champions in top lane. With a very few exceptions, like Fiora. Nice. So early game plan is very simple. We are going to play it very safe in the first level 1-2. And then once we have the wave uh, slowly starting to stack up, we will play a lot more aggressive. So now is the time to do it. We have to wave in a much better position like we had before. Getting the Q for max range. So the way how we win this matchup is to poke him down slowly and then eventually use E to go all in. That's the trick to winning this matchup. And having proper wave management, stacking waves up, is the secondary best thing. Okay, let's go for a full combo right here. I can take it. I got the wave in my uh, in my favor. Sidestep. And he should be dead here. There you go. So as you can see, I poked him down really far. And eventually, it was a matter of pressing E, going for the all-in, and then using my wave to win the win the 1v1, right? So the main reason why I won was literally because of the wave. My wave was bigger than his wave. So if, we, if I went for the all-in, I would end up winning it. And we poked him down a lot. Let's get back here. Also remember, Lethal Tempo is a very, very, very OP rune. Despite the nerfs that came around a month ago, Lethal Tempo is still the best early game rune out there. It's way too OP on champions like Yasuyone. You'll always win um, the 1v1s. Because that thing just procs way faster than any other rune in the game. Like, if you compare Lethal Tempo to Conquer, for example, Lethal Tempo will always win. On most champions, it will always win. I don't think I can do anything. I'm not going to bother chasing him because I think I'm going to end up losing it. Doesn't seem worth it for me. Okay. So again, we have the way frozen in a pretty good position, I would say. Because I can freely poke him from, um, from this position. And basically not risk anything. We do have to use my W. There you go. I always try and maintain this position on champions like Yasuo Yone. Because my Qs and my W is very valuable. And they are a pretty long range for a champion like Seth. So if I stay in this position and I do get caught by an E for example. I can still walk back. I should be okay. Right? It's not like he can all in me because I have like a tower like right next to me. So again, he's going to pop that combo in. Nice. And I would go in. And just like that, we get another one. So just by keeping set in that specific position the entire time, not only do we have a better chance at like trading, but we uh, we also have him in a position where... Oh, I just lost the cannon. We also have him in a position where my Joner can just walk in and grab the kill for free. That definitely helps. Okay, and now we back off. There you go. Okay. So it's time to reset. We're gonna get that uh, Berserk Squeeze now. Yep. And we're gonna go into Recurve Bow. 
so Berserker's Greaves, I always say the same thing, and I'll just say it again, like Berserker's Greaves is the best item on the ONA, and it's the same thing on a champion like Yasuo, and it's the same thing on a champion like Kale. It's always the same. Because attack speed is where the damage comes from, and movement speed is where you can position better. Um, Recurve Bow is the secondary best, again, because it provides only hit damage, so every auto is just going to do more damage, and also more attack speed, which also helps with your Q, so... You can't go wrong building these items. Hmm. Ooh, outplayed, buddy. I position myself on the left side on purpose. There's a reason for that. There you go. So. This is the one thing that matters the most, all right? If you run into a set, you're not going to position on the right side. Because if you position on the right side, he will just press the R button and he will get back to the to his tower way faster that way. So you always want to position on the opposite side of the tower so that he can't ult backwards, you know, back to his uh, safe position, right? And your third Q can be used to dodge the W. So if you cast W, you can just dodge it away by dashing through. I don't think I get the reset that I'm looking for, so I think I might stay around. Because this guy is forcing too hard, which means that you cannot reset. This is a mistake that a lot of people tend to make. Uh, you should only back if you are at risk. And I'm currently at... Uh, 60% HP, so I'm allowed to stay here. I think I can survive it easily. Well, so we're going to start putting points into my Eno. No uh, stun from him. Again, we just poke him down the whole time. And now we force the wave in, and then we just back off. There you go. I'm not gonna go for a plate. I just want to get back as fast as I can. Uh, I want I want to build into pickaxe and also going longsword. Now you might probably think like, why not life steal? Right? You have the ability to do so. Let me walk back. So we can go and build life steal. But it's not optimal because it only provides 15 AD, right? If I build pickaxe and longsword, I have 35 AD. I have 20 AD more for the same value, right? Because I can't buy anything else. If I buy this, I can't buy this. So it's better to go pickaxe, longsword, and then buy this later because it's easier to do so. And we also get more damage. So you'll see if I trade him now, I'm actually going to do way more damage. Again, we just kind of down. Sidestep. Nice. So you can see, like, I purposely... Oh. Okay. Well, whatever. That's fine. Even though we don't kill him, the wave is still going down. Now go back here. Hopefully Seth doesn't make it back now. Nice. Uh, I'll just go for more attack speed, so... Um, now here comes the next thing, right? I can save my gold and then buy blade as like faster, right? So I don't purchase anything. The thing with that is, like, I'm very strong anyways, I'm 4 and 0. Whether I buy this thing or not, I will win anyways. So what I can do is, instead of, like, saving that gold, I can just use that gold now, get more attack speed, and then I can build this item later on into Kraken Slayer. So we're already building into the secondary item, just so we can be slightly, uh, slightly more efficient. We're going to be dragging the wave to the left side here. 
There you go. I'm doing this for a reason. I see that there's two people down here taking the camp. Um, if Zed is helping the jungler, then he will lose the cannon wave here. So even though he succeeds with the jungler, like getting this thing right here, it's actually going to put him further behind because he's going to lose the full cannon wave. So he's basically making it even worse for him. And now we just hold it, we maintain it, because we know we know he's coming back. He needs to come back to farm, right? So, uh... Again. We're chilling, we're having a good time. And we just keep poking him. It's okay if we get hit. I got him too. Nice. And now we can force the wave in and we can go for a plating as well, including that wave. And then we can reset and buy blades. So at that point, like the lane, well, the lane is already over, but now it's even more over, so. Now, do you guys understand why I love Yone? Like, and why everybody picks this thing in high elo? This is exactly what happens if you are a good Yone player. There's a lot of matchups which should be hard for you. They should be difficult for you. But, um, again, if you know proper positioning and all that stuff, you know uh, precisely what to do in the matchup. It's... A lot of matchups actually turn into a favorable one because like Q is a pretty long range, W is long range of all ins. So you have everything on the champion you're looking for, including good scaling. So a lot of matchups turn into, into an easy one. Hey Patty, thank you so much for the for the sub run, bro. Thank you for subbing and supporting me. I think I might all in him right here. I think I might also force. There you go. Let's see if there's something we could do here. Hmm. Well, I actually got wrecked by Yasuo. I did not expect that Yasuo was going to come from the from the lane itself. Actually, kind of a smart one, really. Um, whatever. And he's going to get some... Uh, well, he's not going to get any plates. Cause it's already like 14 minutes in the game. Fortunately, the kill did actually transfer to Yasuo, not actually to Set. Although, Set would never be able to snowball. I am happy he's not getting anything. That means I can keep snowballing on him. My mid laner is already uh, losing at the moment. I don't think it's going to make any difference. So, doesn't matter. It's fine. I hope that we can eventually kill Yasuo though. He has, he has like a 400 gold thing on him. Including the other part. Really? That's a joke, man. I actually didn't kill Set, and apparently, oh, that's a disappointing. Yeah, uh, uh, Yasuo actually already—he also had the bone plating. That's why he was much harder to kill at the f like first part. Well, that was fun. We actually got wrecked twice in a row by Yasuo. He was like top lane immediately. He never really left. Hmm. No problem. It's uh, again. Let me check. Yeah, he actually killed me again. Like said, wasn't part of that at all. Whatever. He already has Infinity Edge. Hmm. That 
That the else is going to be a problem for sure. Definitely. And I think that he might also come back here. I'll just let the wave go down and then I'll take it afterwards so we can uh, make him lose a little bit. There you go. I think that we might find Yasuo back because Set is now mid lane and well, Yasuo can be top, right? Yeah. Hmm. I think we're not actually killing him. Yeah, we're definitely not. I also don't think that we win those teamfights early. My, uh, they're making some uh, bad decisions. That just is going to be a problem. I think that this game is still perfectly winnable. Yes, it will come from the right side. Four people. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's running the other direction. Secure that wave actually. Can't wait to eventually get the uh, the Kraken Slayer. These people seem to stay in mid. Okay, I need like 200. They're taking a team fight, which I do not recommend at all actually. Oh, I should go dice now. My teammates are way a lot weaker than the uh, the enemy team at the moment. We are just supposed to like catch them out, not go for an actual team fight. We will lose that. Sometimes. Yeah, my teammates are just not supposed to go for team fights. This is not the way to do it. There seems to be one guy up here. Okay, we are going to do a rotation. I hope it's actually going to work out because their jungler is currently top lane. I'm uh, walking right on the back here, so I hope I can catch the Yasuo specifically. There you go, a thousand gold. A thousand gold, man. Let's go. That's what I that's what I'm hoping for. That's exactly it. That's exactly what I was looking for. That's really nice. We uh capture this part. And we also grab mid lane along with it. And we're gonna head back after. And we grab some jungle camps. Maybe also the red buff with it. Ah, uh, they seem to have already uh, taken that stuff. Okay. Yeah, let's grab it. I'm gonna go for BF sword after. Again, I always recommend people, if you're playing Yone Yasuo, you feel like wanting to go for crit chance. I don't encourage you to go crit chance unless you really have to. Raw damage is always better in my opinion. What? 10 HP? Okay. Alright. It is what it is.
<laughs> I'm still catching him at the end of the day. That's a joke, right? <laughs> I'll uh, give the plans to Echo. I better run from that one. Like, it's not optimal. Nah. That was worth trying, I guess. I think that Yasu is going to come with the back. Again, I'm not entirely sure, but... Hmm. This is... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. I, I, I actually wrote down to my team to not go for team fights like this. Uh, okay. Like, they have a 9 kills jungle, 6 kills mid lane, 10 kills, uh, 10 kills away. You can't beat them in a team fight. It's, it's no way there's have 3 people, which are all equally fed. So you don't get to win that stuff. Worst part is I need, like, uh, 200. So we can't actually buy Infinity Edge yet. Infinity is, like, a really big power spike to me. Shut down, let's go. Amazing, bro. Okay, got my item. I'll go instantly for this one. It's just some sustain along with it, always appreciated. We can definitely catch him. There's no ch there's no way that this guy can uh, kill me. Okay, he's actually going to run too far. Let's grab some jungle cams along with it. I'm not going to lie. I actually do really appreciate my team for the fact that these guys do not surrender the game. Like, as you guys know, I've been in several games where I'm, like, popping off like crazy. And my teammates are, like, mega inting the game, right? And, like, they just surrender, 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 surrender. Like, the whole time they press that, that stupid surrender button the whole time. And it's, like, what, honestly, it's the most tilting thing in all of League. Like, I can't... It's so annoying when I constantly see the surrender pop up the entire time, man. It's super frustrating, especially when people press yes. And, like... The chances of your team forcing it is just so likely. Super annoying. Nice one. And the is overextending way too much. You know, this is actually pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm like, I'm getting full built so quickly, man. Like, look look at how many items I have. They're like 25 minutes in the game. I can already buy my fourth one. Oh, my fifth one, actually. Okay. I think we can probably all mid lane. Yeah, let's go. Man, look at my items already. This is crazy. <laughs> this is why... Um, this is definitely why... Uh, you should never think that the game is over if you have a Fed Yone. <laughs> the enemy team has been throwing the game. Hmm. 
Uh, that's actually so sad because my um, my third Q, my ultimate, nothing actually hit. If I hit something, I wouldn't be like dropped on her tower. I would have actually killed everybody. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I think that might actually impact the game. I think that my teammates should just walk away, stay on her tower. They don't have Yasuo with them at the moment, so they should be able to live. Yeah, okay. As long as my teammates will live, it's okay. Uh, my teammates didn't live through. I'm, I'm like dying one time and the game is instantly over. That just says like how much pressure we've had in the game. <laughs> we die one time and the game ends. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Hey, either way, this is Yone Top. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.